What's up? I'm Ziggy. And sometimes, my membership runs out. So what do I do? Just kidding. I go to Draenor and chop trees, but I get sick and tired of all the outfits in free to play. So today, I'm going to show you how to get the best looking armor in free to play for free. The ornate armor. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your RSN down below because at 1,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away five bonds. Let's get into it. The ornate armor was released in 2019 as part of the Crack the Clue event. And although it's been out for a number of years, I never see anybody wearing it in-game, which means it's kind of rare. Now, if you're looking for armor for battle, you should just get full rune, because this armor has the same stats and defensive bonuses as leather and iron items. However, if you're looking for some good fashion scape to chop trees in, this is the armor for you. In order to get the ornate armor, you're going to need a couple of things. To make it quicker, you should have teleports to Falador and Varrock. And you're also going to need a spade, a raw herring, goblin mail, a wooden shield, cheese, a plain pizza, and a pie dish. And also a couple of emotes. To get the first piece of armor, which is the helmet, you're going to want to be standing on the exact tile where I am now. This is just outside of Varrock, just past the wizard's circle. In order to get the helmet, you should have nothing equipped and nothing in your inventory except a plain pizza, a wooden shield, and a piece of cheese. To get the helmet, you're going to want to perform the bow, yes, and clap emote in that order, and the mysterious old man will show up and give you the helmet. To get the body, you're going to want to be standing on the exact tile where I am now. This is just west of Edgeville and directly behind the Black Knight's Fortress. To get the top, you're going to want to do the shrug and cheer emote in that order, and the body will appear in your inventory. To get the next piece of armor, which is the legs, you're going to want to stand directly next to the air altar. You can teleport to Falador and run south, and you'll make it here very quickly. In order to get the legs, you're going to need to dig with a raw herring in your inventory. To get the ornate gloves and boots, you're going to want to be standing one tile away from the water, just southeast of Remington. You can get here from traveling south from Falador, or you can travel west from Draenor. In order to get the gloves and boots, you're going to want to dig with a pie dish in your inventory. To get the final piece of armor, which is the cape, you're going to want to travel to just outside the Chaos Temple in level 15 Wilderness. To get here, you can stand directly behind the Grand Exchange and run here. It's a very short run. Once you're here, you're going to want to stand on this tile and dig with a piece of Goblin Mail in your inventory. And that's it! You're now the proud owner of a set of ornate armor. You can flex on noobs in Draenor Village and stun on bots at the Grand Exchange. And like I said, I spend a fair amount of time in free-to-play worlds, and I rarely see anybody wearing this armor. So if you're tired of wearing trimmed rune and green dehyde, maybe it's time you go pick this up. And share this guide with some people you know too, because I'm sure they could use some dope fashion scape as well. As always, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your RSN down below, because at 1,000 subscribers, we're giving away five bonds. Thanks again. Make sure to drink plenty of water and stay true to yourself. Peace.